Hello everyone, my name is Fungusen and welcome back to this Imperator Rome um, Pan-Hellenic Greek achievement run thing. So, we've just finished the war against some minor states over here. And we have this fancy Colossus of Rhodes, which I believe should be somewhere. I mean, it, looks, it definitely should be somewhere. Um, but we have it, anyway. So that's glorious. Um, I had a bit of a look between the episodes, and it looks like we have uh, we are producing um, earthenware in this province here. Um, so it would be great if we could. Yeah, we don't have enough slaves here though to get more of those ones. Because if we could get, well, actually. Surplus in the capital only gives national freeman output, but if we could get it to the capital, anyway, we are already importing it, are we now? No, we are not. <coughs> well, it doesn't matter, we don't have enough slaves anyway to create a surplus of it. We do have a bit of money though, but I might try and be a bit frugal at the moment. We are currently waiting for Thebes to hopefully get completely smashed, and then we will kill off this other alliance. Um, so that should be pretty sweet. Um, what I think we'll do though is we will build a few more boats. That's the wrong button. This one. And um, yeah, let's build the... The fanciest of the fanciest boats. Um, is there any fortifications, player, trade route? I wonder if there was an easy way to see where you can build more buildings. That doesn't really seem to be the case. Um, which is a bit annoying, but... Oh well. <coughs> we'll just have to click around everywhere and see if we can build something. Uh, here we can. We have loads of different things here, so let's build library. Building something already. And here, let's build academy and a library or a settlement one. Oh, we do have this one down here as well yeah let's build a slave estate we have a library here already let's build an academy library so let's build so yeah, clearly I said what I meant was when I said being frugal is build things everywhere. <clears throat> right, now we're going to be frugal. Interesting. He gains arthritis. The physician of all people. Oh my god. He's been cracking his knuckles too much. So we're going to see what happens when this falls. <coughs> and if we are looking good, I'm going to probably just attack straight away. Yeah, we are getting um, stuff. Heavy infantry cost. Siege engineers, I think yes. Also have monthly loyalty, tribute income. I mean, we are getting a bit from tribute so guess that does make sense also I had a look here between the episodes um, just out of curiosity because I noticed here if you look at the pops here you can see that assimilation here cultural assimilation is plus five and if you compare that here we're only getting a well here we're getting nothing 
in this province here we're only getting plus two cultural assimilation and I presume it's tied to this character's stats here um, and when you do try and appoint a governor it's sought by this. I'm guessing it's due to the finesse rating because basically I didn't check all of them but regardless of which one of these policies you choose this one just seems to be worse in general which kind of makes sense <clears throat> so that's a bit okay that looked like a pop-up there because it was sort of perfectly in line with the other ones okay yes you are now part of Phrygia so if I declare war on you I will call in Buitia um, that now so Patrai if we declare war on you so Buitia should join me which means we have Messenia, Lictus and Aetolia let's just check how much money they have so Aetolia who are you? I don't know who you are. Uh, we'd, we'd have to fight Patrai themselves as well, but that's alright. No, sorry, um, this one. 14 plus 10 is 24. Plus 16. 40. Uh, was there anyone else? That's she. Uh, Tolia, oh yeah, and you, 50 again. <clears throat> what was I saying? 15, 25, 41, 55,000. We have 21, plus 15 is 36. Uh, we'll have to fight these ones as well, plus 20. Oh, 55. It's very, very close. What? Who are you still fighting? You're at war with Egypt, Andros, and Kos. Egypt, Phrygia. Okay. So you are at war with Egypt, and Egypt, you're at war with this part of Thrace but occupied by Macedon okay interesting and that's a massive pirate fleet I'm not very keen on that so 21 35 plus I was 55 so it'll be very very even um, how are we looking manpower you are okay you are okay you're okay you're okay you're more than okay. You're okay. <clears throat> and well you will smash pretty quickly, so I don't think that matters. We're also ahead of you on tech. You only have light infantry. Okay. <clears throat> let's see, let's try and grab a bit more money and then we can hire some mercs if needs be. And we will recover a slight bit of morale as well, and we'll have some more ships, etc, etc. Once all of these buildings are done, we should get a bit more money. This might be quite risky, but I mean... Uh, I mean, you, you, you need to risk it to... Biscuit? I don't know, you can't make an omelette without cracking a few eggs. And other illustrious words we can use to describe the scenario. Anyway, uh, no. not. Mm, let's check, just in case. Heavy infantry cost, Tarim discipline. Um, we're killing someone. We're still killing someone. Oh, we don't want to do that one. Ah. 
I mean, province of fine. But I'm not going to be happy about it. Anyway, income should increase. So, 16, once we build more things, should start getting more money. Yeah, 1642. I'm not kind of liking that one. And why are we building all of these ones in one single province? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, 16 ducats. So, we'll need a bit more to get the slaves. Are you still at war, Frigia? Oh, God in heaven. You are at war with a lot of things. Is it the same war? Take Pontus. Frigian. No, so Egypt has declared war. Meanwhile, you decided to declare war for something else at the same time. Okay. Can you handle that? Can we declare war on you? Hmm. Now I think it's safer to take out this defensive league instead. And then we'll hopefully have the majority of these ones down here. Let's just see. If we declare war on you... Yeah, Frigga would come in as an overlord, so we definitely don't want to do that. You want to import vegetables from Laconia. From here. Do we have many vegetables? We do have an additional spare, so yes, okay. I don't know what Frigga is doing though. At this rate they're loose. Their troops don't seem to be in position at all. Well, they're occupying something there. Where is Egypt's army? How much have we not... Jesus Christ! Um, let's improve relations <laughs> with Egypt. I don't know why that's red though. That that looks like it's going to be a bad event or a bad thing happening. Hey, do you do you want to um, protect me? You like me? You like me? You like me? How about you? Can we? Mm, nope. You're too far away. Okay. And Egypt is fighting these guys. What? Am I suffering attrition? No. Oh, okay, that's the drill army thing. It looks like attrition though. So let's save up to say, I don't know, a hundred ducats. We have been insulted. You have insulted us. I mean, I will kill you. Slow characters doesn't matter. You are planning to leave the alliance. That's fine. So if we were to hire mercs now, can we do that? Uh, where's mercs? So let's go for the recruitable ones. Um, you're all the way over there. You got anyone that's close? You are quite far. You are over here. Lemnos. We don't have anyone that's, you know, reasonably close, so is that they're all hired? I'm not yet recovered from the last employment. Oh, okay, you can't hire them when they're on... 
on low strength, I'm guessing. <clears throat> well, fine. I'm just going to just to make sure this war goes okay. So you are there. For someone who's not on an island. Guess that's you. Yeah. 12k. Alright. Okay, march your way down here. Um, we're still going to be gaining 10 ducats a month, so <clears throat> but I think that should be alright. Now, can we like toggle please attach to me? Okay, I mean, you, you seem very aggressive. Those are mercenaries. So let's see if still is still true. We'll attack you. Patry will come in. Do the same attacking you. You'll have you underneath you. So we'll fight Atolia, Messenia and Lictus. Lictus will go out soon. We'll have another four people to fight. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tight, but I think we can do it. I mean, these... no, not you. These ones should be super drilled. Which gives what? Does it say what benefits we have? No, not directly here. Yes, we'll of course hold the Olympics. Anything else we can get here that will... Population capacity, Freeman output, tribute income. Let's go with more loyalty. That is always making sense, I think. Well, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, you can break the alliance if you want. In fact, I'm tempted to break it myself, but... Exiled armies, yes, 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 I know. They're slowly marching their way down here. So if we can combine this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. At least we're gaining uh, all the points in the world now. Strategos is apparently not giving us a great deal of points. Why is that? Because he's not very loyal. And his loyalty is decreasing. Because he's lapsed. Is that the... Yeah. Um, I personally lose money. And I personally gain corruption. He gains corruption. Alright. So is that enough to replace him? It is. Right, since you are... Let's put you in charge instead. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Seriously? Um, can I have access, please? Thank you. I actually not have a fort here. Yeah, I do have a fort. Phew. I was getting a bit um, panicky there. Alliance from Aetolia. Who... That's you. Um... 
Let's accept it and see if we can call you in. We can. Well. Okay, let's just hope that this actually works the way I want it to work. Otherwise, we're going to go for a Hail Mary siege and just try and uh, do some other shenanigans to actually peace out. But, um... I am hoping this will work as I... So, can we... How can we set that you can attach to this? Um, we lose money, some random guy... Gains 20 opinion, Montinea. Do that... No. Is that a subject? Yes. You can lose 10 loyalty. Okay, attachments allowed. Some child has been born. So if we can um, get these to attach here, we should be able to go down and smack this one over the head. So, right, are we ready? Let's just wait for one more morale tick maybe, and then we'll have the new year, and then we'll see if this works as I hope. So, right, declare war on you, we're going to call in you and you, and fingers crossed... Uh, Yes, it did. Okay, okay. Um, you are not yet in the war. Let's wait a day. You're not going to join the war. You are marching straight over there. Okay, fine. I'd hope if you'd come and attach to me. Let's wait. Well, it looks like they're going to win. Okay, let's try and go and smash that. But try... Is, this, is he not actually calling these people in? Is he not allowed to? I don't like this. This is... I mean, fine. Um, where's our nearest port? It's like there. Shared opinions. Uh, blah blah blah. He loses loyalty. Yeah, okay. He's throwing enemies. Can we win before? Yes, we can. Very nice. Um, I thought he would call other people in, but if he is not, then... Um, Is occupied by Patrai. Why can I not cross there? Oh, is that because of that? Well, if 
fine. Start marching up there, though. Yeah, it looks like he's not calling them in. Okay, that's weird. Well, that's good to know. Maybe they can't. But then the tooltip should be updated because it is very confusing at the moment. Um, actually, do not attach to me. Now the only risk here is obviously that my um, allies are going to siege down the stuff for me, so... Alright, so now can we walk up here? Yes, we can. Well, we can cross over the boats to do so. That is fine by me as well. Who's in charge of this siege? I am. Very good. Okay, well that made this a uh, lot less dramatic than I thought. Can I attack you now? I can. Oh ho ho! Alright, okay. Well, this is going to be even sweeter than anticipated. So we can do this as a separate war. Um, Patry will join, but since we're already fighting them, so we'll get Lictus and these two. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah, but I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.